Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. This is going to be a video response to A Murphy's 245 handheld collection. So I thought I showed you guys the, the ones that I own. So starting off down here, got the two original DS, or DS Fat as it sometimes tends to be called. And as he mentioned in his video, they are becoming quite uh, hard to get hold of due to the more common DSi and, DS, and the DS Lite. One of them goes to my daughter and uh, she also has um, a pink DS light. And I've got the black one. And down here we've got the, the DSi XL. Purchased about four or five months ago. Great machine. Due to the uh, bigger screen. And over here we've got the uh, the chunky Sega Nomad, which is basically a portable Mega Drive. Can't just on there. Brightness control there, volume control, and also you can uh, attach a Sega Joypad. It's a great little machine, but it does suck up on the batteries. Down here we've got the Pocket Neo Geo, awesome little machine. Um, especially for games like uh, Metal Slug and uh, obviously he's got Sonic 2 and some of the, the 2D fighters. Uh, and the game that I'm trying to, I'm on the lookout for which is Cotton. Awesome little machine, didn't get the uh, credit it deserved. Of course, over here I have four Sega Game Gears. Uh, they all have uh, the screen issue, but otherwise, other than that, the uh, the sounds quite good. Here we got the two original Game Boys, both in great condition. And over here we have the yellow one, the A and B markings are sort of worn off, but other than that it's working uh, beautifully. The red one, all of them are working in great condition. Over here we have the pocket colour, pocket game mode colour. This is the, the actual original one that I got on release date. So I've had this one for years. And also the uh, Game Boy Advance. Here we have a clear one or clear color version. And that little tune you're hearing in the background is coming from the GP2X, which is running uh, a MAME emulator, and the game it's playing at the moment is Bomb Jack. Awesome little game. Great little game there. Moving on to the PSPs. And the slim one here. They're all modded for emulation and obviously some backup copies. Which I just mainly use for the emulation. We've got a fat one. This is the, uh, the original that I bought on release. It was first, and it's the Japanese version. So I've kept this one in uh, really clean condition. Over here we got a my only little LCD game. Poignon. Let's see if I can just turn it on here. So it's cost me a couple of pence at a car boot sale. Put 
just keep so let's take it in sort of columns as And over here we have my daughter's PSP, pink PSP, which is she actually recently she's bricked it, so um, got to get around to uh, fixing it, which isn't a major task. And this white one here I actually found in a uh, on a park bench late one evening from uh, a night out. It's in real bad state, really bad shape. It's missing your battery cover and chip there, rough screen marks, and but it's actually working. With a bit of TLC, I can I reckon I can get it back into uh, good shape. And some modern gaming. I have the uh, eye touch. A whole load of games in there. Space Ace there. Streets of Rage. Star Wars. Silent Hill. Nikki 2 and the original one. Original games on the Amiga back in the day. Raymond 2, Doom Resurrection, Robo Rush, which is a sort of uh, Super Mario Brothers sort of game, but with a robot. Paperboy. There's Monkey Island there. Dragon's Lair, Final Fantasy. Ghosts and Goblins, Great Guiana Sisters. Cobra and also and I, I've got an Android phone with um, with a bunch of games also at the moment I'm playing um, Doodle Jump awesome little game And that uh, rounds up my uh, handheld collection, so hope you've enjoyed watching it, and I'll uh, post up another video soon. So until then, uh, goodbye and take care. Actually, while we're on the subject of handhelds, I thought I'd quickly show you some other handheld games that I have. Okay, they're not portable, but uh, nevertheless, they are considered handhelds, and uh, of course that is the tabletop games. And starting off down here, we've got Caveman, Alien Attack, the Star Force, my all time favorite is uh, Firefox. Astro Wars Scramble It's Frogger They're all in great condition with their battery covers We have got Pup Monster which uh, Stig actually showed on, on one of his videos. I actually have another one here. We got Munchman. And uh, Crazy Kong. And over here I also got another Frogger, but without the uh, sort of the overhead cover. 
a Galaxy Twin Invader, which is missing the battery cover and uh, it isn't uh, working 100%. You've got a Galaxian. It's pretty bad shape. No battery cover. It's all corroded and everything on the on the metal plates. But uh, they do still work. And finally, Space Invader, or Invader from Space. And uh, that's my tabletop collection. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye now.